Well guys, today is a, a sad day. We are uh, just making the decision that it's best for us to uh, take the rig, which has now been out here since the end of March, and it's now May 1st. So we're out on the road solid five weeks, about to be going on six, and we were hoping to, uh, we were hoping to be racing this weekend. We were actually supposed to be racing today up north in Kansas at the 81 Speedway, but unfortunately, last night we got the news that it was canceled, which at least they did it ahead of time. Guys, I'm sitting here as they, uh, they just canceled 81 Speedway tomorrow. Gosh, that really sucks. We purposely stayed down this way, you know, for that. Um, 81 is an awesome, awesome racetrack. The good news is they're going to talk about rescheduling it. The bad news is if they don't reschedule it, like here soon, we'll probably be back home or, you know, who knows, who knows when they'll, they'll find a makeup date, but man, that really, that really hurts. And now I'm on my computer, like trying to find other options for races. Uh, tomorrow they run up in Jacksonville, Illinois, which we weren't really prepared to even, you know, consider running that show because we were going to be here. Uh, and that's like about eight hours from where we're at, maybe even a little more, you know, in a rig of this size. So that's kind of pushing it. Um, the weather does look good up there. And I was just checking out what our other options are for the weekend, because like if you head a direction, you got to kind of figure out what's all racing and where you're going to go and what the weather looks like at those places, man. And usually, you know, sometimes in May, I figured out here, we, we have a little bit better luck. And of course you're going to have little random incidents like this, but man, really, really sucks. Uh, mother nature is, is putting a, you know, is hindering us from, from running more than we, we were hoping. So they canceled the High Limit show. They just had a bunch of rain up there in Park City. And then, you know, now my dad and I, you know, which we went home last week. We were only gonna be home for a couple of days, fly back for Knoxville. Knoxville canceled, they have the tornadoes. It was actually pretty gnarly here with the weather. Luckily, you know, we're here at the gas racing shop and my mom and Carly who were back in Oklahoma while we were on the West Coast. Luckily we were here because uh, these guys have a, a shelter and stuff and they actually were in that because the tornadoes were not far and ripping through this entire area. It's pretty scary. You do not want to be in a rig while that's happening. So Knoxville canceled. We came back out here with hopes to run 81 Speedway and then we're supposed to run Lakeside and then, you know, maybe if things even went well, we talked about staying out a little longer into May and, you know, see what our situation was with our equipment because we are low on some stuff and we have had some troubles during the trip. But man, looking at basically everywhere we can run that makes sense for the most part like it's it's raining this weekend and um, we wanted to go to Lakeside maybe that ends up happening but to me it looks like it's gonna be a wash we wanted to maybe head back up to Knoxville but there's some rain there you head east there's rain in the forecast so kind of just a tough situation trying to figure out what's best it's been good that we've been parked in the same location because you know for a team like us um, you know you're, at least you're not spending you know trying to run around a race you know wasting fuel and doing all that um, when you're not getting a chance to actually run but we kind of just all sat down as a team and we made the decision that it's best that we head home a little bit early and we're gonna race on the way home in California um, this weekend. So we're on the road. Dad, next stop, where are we heading? Flagstaff. Flagstaff, Arizona. For the night. We're just about to roll by the sign, and we are now in Texas. And then, Mom, what are you? What, what? I feel like it's uh, it's Lakeview, Texas. It's amping up right now. Mom's becoming a professional storm watcher living back here. How far was the tornado when we were when me and Dad weren't here? How far was the closest tornado? It was like 20 miles away, huh? Yeah, and it, and Sulphur was two hours from us, just south south of us. I don't blame her. That was crazy. They were in uh, actually the um, the storm shelter, like I was saying. And now I guess it's getting kind of bad. Where we're heading here um, into Texas, there's some tornadoes. 
tornado roll, uh, tornado warnings. And as you guys have seen, the weather just as like it's almost nighttime. It's getting kind of dark ahead of us. Um, the area we're go or the direction that we are um, that we're heading, but we're clicking off as many miles as we uh, as we can. And here soon, also the outlaw race is going to be on at Jacksonville, so we'll have a chance to tune into that and then watch all the storms. Classic stop, but just a little bit more important today because my mom has never been here. She always flew, you know, on those other occasions when we were driving through. So we had to, uh, we had to show her the place. So we stopped and got a quick bite to eat. That was a lot of fun. And then my dad literally trucked through the night. I thought he was gonna go till like 11 or midnight and then stop. And all of a sudden I took this clip at like three in the morning as we were just pulling in to Flagstaff, Arizona. So we're just waking up here at uh, one of our normal stops on this uh, trek, whether we're going east or west. We're in Flagstaff, Arizona. My dad drove really far last night. I always talk about how he is insane. I thought we were gonna stop about midnight or one, and I think I woke up randomly at three, and that's about when we pulled into here. So now it's the next morning. We, of course, have to uh, feel up here in a little bit. We're gonna get into California, which is a really long state, but we're about eight hours-ish now with some stops uh, to our next destination, which is Hanford, California. And my buddy actually has a shop that's only about 10 minutes from the track. So the plan is we get going now, hopefully get there, you know, not too late tonight, and then have a couple hours to work, um, you know, get the engine swap because we have the 410 in, we gotta put our 360 in, and then kind of make some setup changes and see how this car is gonna look. We haven't ran a 360 with our new package yet. I think we have plenty of ideas on, on what to do. And, and then our 410 experience is gonna help. For me, it's just, I like to have that time to make sure everything's perfect, or at least in, in our eyes, how it should roll out on the track to give ourselves the best shot. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna do a bunch of driving today, and we're gonna work later this evening. So after a lot of driving, we made it to where we're going. We're just about to unload the car. Made it to my buddy's shop here, just not too far from the racetrack. We're gonna pull the 410 out and put the 360 in. And as I'm telling you this, so originally we were gonna have to do two engine swaps this weekend. Pull this engine out, put the 360 in, and then after Hanford, we would put this engine back in and pull the 360 out. But unfortunately, because of the rain that was forecasted at Tulare, it's actually not a lot, but it's just really bad timing, just right when we're supposed to start racing. They already canceled, canceled the 410 show um, with NARC. And that sucks really bad, but was it the right call? Probably. It's one of those disastrous decisions you have to make. Like, it's not a crazy amount of rain, but it is also, you know, right when we're supposed to be racing. And last thing you want is everyone to get there and then have to cancel when, you know, if you just cancel it ahead of time, it, it's basically a lose-lose. So now we're going to begin our work. Carly's getting the meal out. I guess on the bright side, we're going to get one show in uh, before we make it back home. So we got the 360 out. If you guys remember, the nickname of this engine is Big Pescado. So we're excited to see this thing run. It hasn't ran yet in 2024. I told Carly we could leave it the wing on like this to change the motor, but she didn't want to do it. I didn't want the ducks to laugh at me. So luckily with all the years we've been involved now in sprint car racing, this kind of has turned into clockwork for our team. You get everything all disconnected, you get the hoist on the engine, you get it up in the air, you pull it out, get it to the ground, hook up the other engine, get that one up in the air, push the car where it needs to be and drop it in. And then once you do that, you get the car out of the trailer and make sure you get it all hooked up so it's race ready. So just as the sun is about to go down, we uh, got the 360 all in. Now we are in the process of just buttoning it all up. In this situation, 
situation we would normally love to fire, uh, luckily this motor's not fresh, so it's not maybe, I guess you could say, as crucial, but we'll go to the track tomorrow, and I don't think we're probably gonna get that chance. We'll just fire up for mud pack, and one of those situations, you kinda just hope you have your fingers crossed, but we're of course doing all of our work now. It's double, triple checking ourselves and going over it multiple times. So once we kinda finish all that up, then uh, we'll make a couple setup changes. The 410 to the 360 can be a little bit different, uh, but I feel like, you know, once you get your car rolling really good, you can apply, you know, things from both sides. Uh, just once you have that little bit extra horsepower, there's maybe different directions you go throughout the night to continue to keep your car balanced and moving in the right direction. But overall, I think we're gonna have a good baseline and we've also been to Hanford before, so we know what to expect. Process. Did good. So we were all loaded back up. 360 engine is uh, in the car. We got our setup in as well. Now, of course, just feeling anxious to get on track. We've had some bad luck with all the weather lately and, you know, wanted to do some more racing than we did and get to some tracks that we had ran at and had speed at before. And now we found ourselves back at technically, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it home, but the West Coast. And also worth noting, this is the first time I'm running a non-outlaw or high limit show since like July of last year. You know, that whole deal happened with Shark Racing at the end of Knoxville. I was on the outlaw tour. Then at the start of the season, with my own car we've had a really difficult schedule so I guess this is like the first time you could say I'm you know running something that would not be on that scale of course there's still gonna be you know your tough California locals and guys that run out here so I'm also looking forward to that our schedule kind of looks like that throughout May and June you know I would say races that aren't as difficult as what we've been running like I said you still have your guys that can win or are really fast out this direction but maybe you know not as much depth throughout the field so we're gonna go out there and make it happen we got a good mindset worked on our race car got everything ready to go pescado our engine uh, it should hit like normal and we're gonna give these guys all we got we'll see you tomorrow at the king speedway in hanford california deuces